I was assigned a guy driving a Porsche Turbo. So I walked over and I could size them up immediately. And I just decided to walk around his car, look in, and I'm just waiting for him to say something. I'm looking at the tires and so on and so forth. And this guy comes over and he says, can I help you, honey? <laughs> and I said, yeah, I'm your instructor for today. Miriam Shotland is not your typical 74-year-old driver. She has been the chief instructor of four DC area driving clubs and is the head of her own company called Drive Lab. Um, I'd like a red flag exercise. Not bad considering she bought her first car just 20 years ago. After relocating from Manhattan, where she worked as a graphic artist, Shotland realized she needed a car, but not just any car. Being an artist, the way things look were really important to me. And I would walk down the street and I would look at all these boxes on boxes. You know, that's what the cars look like. And they were ugly. And one day, there was this beautiful little airfoil waiting for a red light. I took a photograph of it. I had no idea what it was. And I started asking some people I knew, oh, do you know what kind of car this is? And all the guys knew, oh yeah, that's a Porsche 911. That's the car I want. And that's the car she got. She had just one small problem. I did not know how to drive a stick. <laughs> it wasn't long before Shotland found her way to Summit Point okay. Racetrack. Let's black flag him. Bad dog. I thought, oh, well, this is, you know, just kind of a regular driver's ed like you do in high school. And I find myself on a racetrack. And I got to tell you, I spun in almost every turn. I was a disaster. And I remember thinking, I'm selling that damn car. I've had it. But something said to me, you know, it's a contest between you and the car. And since I'm so competitive, I thought, uh-uh, I'm going to win. And that's exactly what happened. Within a few years, her art career faded away, and Shotland became one of the most well-known instructors on the track. These days, with her company Drive Lab, she's spending more time in the classroom, teaching students of all ages and driving backgrounds a new form of driver safety. And all of a sudden, this idiot who's thinking about 10 million other things think Isaac Newton's going to move his car, and Isaac is saying, according to my formula, fast equals mass times acceleration, this is going to hurt. <laughs> Learning how to control a car. This, this behemoth of steel and glass and rubber is quite a feat. I don't know whether dri most drivers realize what they're doing. Driving should be taught by physics teachers, not by gym teachers. Driving is applied physics. All this kinetic motion that they have to control, they don't think about this and the consequences of what can happen. that I did not jerk the car in. I kind of just, you got to feel the car. And she is extremely knowledgeable, very well-spoken, and most of all, very patient. Uh, she will certainly push you to do the best you possibly can, but at the same time, doesn't push you further than you need to go. As I'm getting up in age, I gave serious thought to selling my car. And uh, I'm out here and I'm seeing Miriam doing all this stuff. So I said, it really motivated me to keep going. I said, if Miriam can do it, I can do it. Can we announce more instructors on the grid? We got two cars waiting there. My dream is to have, to have the United States be the best drivers in the world. And I've got a lot of ideas for making people aware of <laughs> what lousy drivers they really are.